Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Saud Afzal. I am a faculty in civil engineering at IIT Kharagpur. This course is about hydraulic engineering. I will give an introduction about what we are going to do in this uh, course, but before that we need to know why we need to study fluids or hydraulics. In hydraulics the study of fluids is very, very important. So, one of the ideas is to be do a brainstorming, a list of engineered or biological devices that require understanding of fluids to explain how do they work, mainly the hydraulic machines. What fluid properties do we think that are important in engineering and explaining each of these devices? So, this is the photo of a dam where uh, you can see the forces due to the fluids is very important and one of the important concepts that we are going to study in this course is this. Now, I will go to the course topics. We are going to start with basics of fluid mechanics. We will see how the fluid is defined. We will also see the Newton's law of viscosity. Units and dimensions will be covered properties of fluids and fluid statics, both the forces. Now, the second week we will go to the basics of fluid mechanics too, in which we are going to cover fluid kinematics, Euler and Bernoulli's equation, impulse momentum equation and application of energy and momentum principles. These first two weeks are important. I understand these are repetition of the fluid mechanics, basics of fluid mechanics course, but to understand the process of hydraulics further, these are very, very important. So, we will cover these uh, uh, topics in very uh, a short and quick format, but we will definitely solve some numericals. So, from the week number 3, we will start with viscous fluid flow, where the conservation of mass, momentum and energy will be derived. We will see how to derive the Navier-Stokes equation the exact solutions of viscous flow equations which comprises of Kuwait flow and Poiseuille's flow. These will be covered in week number 3. Week number 4 will cover laminar and turbulent flow. So, basic differences between the laminar and turbulent flows, Reynolds experiment will be covered, analysis of laminar flow in which we are going to cover the circular pipes, annular plates and the parallel plates. Moving to the next week, we will do some Stokes law and then go ahead for the, the transitional from the laminar to turbulent flow. We will also cover the properties of turbulent flow, Reynolds stress as obtained from Rans, Prandtl mixing length theory and turbulent flow in pipes. The next week will be about boundary layer analysis, where we will do cover the concept of boundary layer and boundary layer thickness. We will see the displacement thickness, how it is derived, momentum thickness, energy thickness. We will then proceed to laminar and turbulent boundary layers. We will also see the separation of boundary layers. The next week onwards, we will go to a new topic called dimensional analysis and hydraulic similitude, where we will see the methods of dimensional analysis, Rayleigh's method or Buckingham's Pi theorem. We will try to concentrate on Buckingham's Pi theorem with a slight introduction of Rayleigh's method. We will study the dimensionless group. We will also see the similitude and model studies. Lot of lot and lot of uh, numericals will be done so as to give you more practice. The next uh, week will be about the introduction to open channel flow and uniform flow. The difference between the open channel flow and pipe flow will be covered. Geometric terminologies will be uh, taught. We will classify the open channel flows. We will see the velocity distribution in open channel flow and we will see uniform flow in open channels, among which in the important equations, Chazy's equations and Manning's equation will be covered. We will also study about which is the most economical channel section. After that, we will proceed to non-uniform flow and hydraulic jump in the next week. 
specifically dealing with specific energy and specific energy curve. You will also see the concept of critical flow, gradually varied flow in which the governing equation will be taught, the surface profiles and the next topic would be the hydraulic jump in a rectangular channel. The week after that will be dealing with viscous pipe flow or pipe flow because the flow in pipes is viscous therefore we uh, call it viscous pipe flow. We will see the entrance region, we will study the concept of friction factor, Hagen Poiseuille's flow in that we are going to see about the pressure drop, the head loss. We will also specifically see how to calculate the loss of head through pipes. Uh, using the Darcy V bash equation, we will see what are the major and the minor losses. The next week will be dedicated to the pipe networks. Uh, what is the total energy line? What is the hydraulic grade line? How do we deal the problems of pipes in series and pipes in parallel? We will also do the analysis of pipe networks using Hardy cross method. If there is time, we will also see the three reservoir problem. The next week will be about the computational fluid dynamics. So, this is going to be an introduction, introductory course because computational fluid dynamics is mostly taught at MTech level. But to give a flavor to our undergraduate students, we will take up this topic in the course of hydraulic, hydraulic engineering. So, we start with what is CFD. We will tell you about the solution procedures. We will tell you about the grid generation. We are going to talk about the boundary conditions. We are going to talk about simple applications of CFD in laminar CFD calculations and also in the turbulent CFD calculation. So, <coughs> after that the final week will be about in viscid flow in which we are going to talk about wave mechanics. Uh, we will talk about linear wave theory linear wave theory will be solved using the approach of boundary value problems from basics and scratch so that uh, it is not very difficult for you. We will see the velocity potential of a small amplitude waves, the derivation of velocity potential in that particular case. We will study about the dispersion relation and we will also see what happens when the waves approach the shallow water. So, these are the topics that we are going to cover in next 12 weeks. Uh, talking about my goals for this course, uh, I have some specific set of goals to make your course and the study very interesting. One of the goals is that I want to uh, each of you to develop an intuition for fundamental principles of hydraulic engineering. I also want you in the end that you say that fluids are fascinating and I can tackle the hydraulic engineering problems without any problems. Uh, hydraulics is a very, very important uh, course which is not only required for civil engineering, but also in the fields of mechanical engineering, aerospace because fluids exist everywhere and that we can share an enjoyable time together by solving problems, sharing our views together on the forums and if you have any problems and doubt, please feel free to contact me or my teaching assistants. So, these are the references. There are four books that I have referred. The first one is Monsoon, Okishi and Young, this fundamental of fluid mechanics. The book of Senjil uh, and others is also a great book among the Indian authors. Uh, S.K. Som, Gautam Biswas and Suman Chakravarti's 2012 book is uh, quite a good book where you can study the basic concepts which I will be teaching you in class. And in the end for the last part of the course, the wave mechanics, uh, the book by V. Sundar, Ocean Wave Mechanics Application in Marine Structures will help you learn about the basic wave mechanics. And uh, after that, uh, I would like to thank you and looking forward uh, to your active participation. Thank you so much.